Welcome to the page where we are going to compare uptown movers to crosstown movers. We are going to graph the rental equation for each company and present a visual representation of the problem. Let's start with the equation for uptown movers. $4 times every mile X plus an initial deposit of $10 equals Y. And for Crosstown, we have $2 times every mile X plus $20 for a deposit equals Y. We can simplify these equations and eliminate the dollar symbols and the zeros. This equation, we can write 4 times x plus 10 equals y. And for crosstown, 2 times x plus 20 equals y. We know our slope is 4. So, it is 4. m equals 4. But written as a ratio, it really is four dollars per one mile, which means up four dollars over one mile. And our initial start value of B is 10 or ten dollars. For Crosstown, our slope is two. So M equals two or $2 per every one mile, written as a ratio, that certainly means up $2 over one mile. And our initial start value, or our deposit, is 20. Now that we've pulled out the important pieces from each equation, let's take a look at our graph we see that the x values along the bottom axis represent miles, one mile, two miles, three miles, etc. Up the side, the y value is cost. We can see that that starts at $10 and it rises in increments of two, $12, $14, $16, etc. Well, let's go ahead and graph our first equation for uptown movers. We can see that our start value right over here is 10. So on that y axis, anchor your line here at positive 10 or $10. Now we must rise up. $4, not four blocks, but $4 over one mile. So let's begin. Go up to 14 and over one mile and make a dot. Do that again. Up $4 over one mile, make a dot. Continue the pattern and graph this line all the way to the edge of the graph paper. The blue line represents uptown movers. And we make sure and label that blue line with the equation. We can also label it with the word uptown. Each point on that line is a solution to that equation, but they, the points have meaning. For example, here, at this point, 8.42. The X stands for miles, and the 42, the Y, stands for dollars. So if you travel eight miles, you spend $42. Now let's graph Crosstown. Crosstown has an initial start value of $20.
you can see that that $20 charge is higher than the $10 we pay for Uptown. But this rises at a slower rate or pace, only $2 per every one mile. So go up $2 from 20 to 22 over one mile. Up $2 over one mile. Continue rising at that rate. Up $2 over one mile. Not two blocks, but up $2. And you will notice that the lines intersect. You can see that the lines intersect right here. Here, this is what we call the POI, point of intersection, and that occurs at five miles, $30. So, at five miles, both companies will charge $30. But what about if the distance is less than five miles? Well, our blue line, Uptown, is clearly the cheaper company if your distance is less than five miles. However, let's look at the purple line. If your distance is greater than five miles, you can see that Crosstown would be the better buy. It's a clear display of how the two companies charge their customers.